Hey, this is Michael with Wildlife Command Center, and if you're brand new to our channel, then hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, turn the notifications on. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that bell icon. So this morning, we are at a home that has a very common problem with animals getting underneath the concrete porch. It happens because the dirt underneath the concrete porch gets very dry and it shrinks and it leaves a void. So we have partnered up with Ramjack to offer a solution for this very common problem. We're gonna walk you through it this morning from start to finish. Yesterday, we caught this groundhog and we're gonna show you guys when we do the release video later, but it dug right up underneath here, got underneath the porch, made itself at home. Everywhere across the United States, when they pour a concrete slab and it's set there for 20 years, 30 years, it has this void on it every single home. I've never run into a home that did not have this dirt shrinkage and that void underneath the concrete. And if you don't do anything with it, you're gonna have a problem eventually. They're gonna inject into this concrete and lift this whole slab up so that that crack is no longer visible. Yeah, at Wildlife Command Center, one of the things that we definitely try to do, and we are quite successful at it, is resolving the whole problem. So you, you have the animal is usually the start of the problem, but then there's all these other tiers that happen along the way. And so we try to fix all of it as we go. So when we get to the end, we've got complete wildlife solution and you'll never have the problem again. That's also the number one reason why we don't have repeat customers. We have very, very few repeat customers because we resolve the problem so well the first time people never have an animal issue ever again. It's not a great business model, but it makes for very happy customers. We are witnessing the magnitude of the void that that groundhog made underneath that porch because he's that close to the edge spraying this foam that expands significantly and it's filling up the void underneath his feet and it's taking so much product that it's not coming out of this hole yet. It's getting close. You can see the smoke coming out, but that is a lot of void underneath there that he's feeling. Groundhogs have very few transmittable diseases from groundhog to human. They are not a rabies vector, so they're a good candidate for translocation. They have a pretty high success rate in survival. So they just need a place where there's a lot of vegetation, some ground to dig in, and um, a fair shake in getting a new place, a new stronghold, a new foothold, somewhere they can dig in and live. So I think this is a great location for this guy. Uh, we're gonna turn him loose and just let him go be his merry groundhog self. Bye, Mr. Groundhog. A great translocation. He'll find some good looking groundhog girlfriends around here. Say that three times fast. So we use um, this foam gun and we use pure black wildlife foam. All right, this is a closed cell polyurethane foam. I use this oil heater to get this can up to 83 degrees because the propellant inside the can, when it gets below 50, the propellant shrinks to half the size and so the foam won't come out of the can. Once you open them and put a can on, you can never take a can off of it. You have, when you take an empty can off, you have to put a full can on immediately or the, um, the gun will, it'll ruin the gun. Because I got one from one of my technicians and it didn't work because they had messed it up too much. 
These things only only last about six months or so the way we use them, which is probably more abusive than most people. But it's got Teflon seal, Teflon coating, ball valve on the inside. Uh, works off of a needle valve that goes all the way through the end of it to this little tit right here. This closes it all the way. The threads on here meet the threads on here. The, the ball valve right there is depressed by that. And you just screw it on real fast. So we're gonna fill it with this closed cell polyurethane foam. Then we're gonna cut it. Then we're gonna seal it. Let that set. It takes about 15 minutes to cure. Wow, he does it all. Hey, you have to do it all. You know what a lot of people don't realize is about perspective. You know, a lot of people see this company, a lot of people that work for the company, they don't realize the sweat, blood, and tears and everything it takes to get a company to this point. You know, all they see is the success and where we are now. And they don't remember that I train everybody because I know how to do this stuff. I do it well because I want my customers to have a finished product. You know, I want it to look nice. I want them to have complete resolution so they don't have to worry about groundhogs anymore. And now we're going to seal this crack right here. I went through, we foamed it in with a closed cell polyurethane foam. I cut the foam out and now we're going to put a self-leveling sealant over it to finish it out. And then we'll do the same with that crack. We'll do the same with those cracks. So this part right here, we're gonna have to let that cure for a while so it'll cut evenly. You can't use self-leveling caulk over here. We're gonna have to use a, uh, a solid base tripolymer that's the same color. And we'll cut all that even. Fill in between here, that way the water can't get down in, in between the crack and uh, wash the soil out from underneath it again. And then we'll call this finished. So Wildlife Command Center can resolve the issue when you've got an animal underneath the porch. We'll catch the animal, get it out, fill the void, Seal it up. Bye, Mr. Groundhog. Go find a girlfriend. There's some good looking groundhog girls around here. You'll be happy, I promise. <laughs>